Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Friday Favorites. Today we are featuring um, not a YouTuber, but this company has a YouTube channel. It's called Echo Green Crafts, and I'll put the link somewhere down here. Um, they have awesome techniques, quick techniques, and today I want to show you the peeled paint technique and a card that I made from that. I'm also going to try to show you the blotted water one. So um, let's get started. So I just have a regular sheet of, um, this happens to be paper tray ink card stock. Um, so I'm going to use that, and you just want two different color paints and, or your choice, your choice of two paints and some petroleum jelly. So um, I will put the link below because they give you an awesome quick tutorial. You'll be able to understand everything, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. My underlining color is going to be the yellow, just for video purposes. I hope it comes out cute, but <laughs> I just want to show you guys this. It's so cool because um, I like I like their quick techniques, and they have like nine videos up, nine or ten, I'm not sure, um, of just quick techniques that we all can use, and and they're easy. So you just want to let this dry, and I just use the cheapo bottle of acrylic paint that you get from Michaels. It does the job. Okay. Gotta rush that along. All right. Okay, now that that's dry, you want to take the petroleum jelly, and I get this from the dollar store, cheap old petroleum jelly, and you want to take a little dab, little dab, and rub it on the areas that you want to look peeled. You don't want to slather it on, just just enough to get it on there. And at random spots, you don't want to cover the whole thing. Okay. Get this off my hands. After you're done doing that, you want to take your other color. And I'm using this pink. And go right over the top of that. Try not to do as many strokes as I'm doing, but I'm not at a good angle here. And I left some of mine just light. I didn't want to cover the whole thing because I still wanted the, the peeled paint slash distress look. Okay, then you want to dry that up. Not completely dry. Like you did the yellow or the first coat, but dry enough. Because you don't want to dry out the gel, the petroleum jelly. that's good so the next thing you want to do is take a rag or a towel or whatever it is you're going to use and I use I use old socks so I don't get my towels dirty and you just want to rub where the pill paint was or where the petroleum spots were because those parts didn't stick or don't stick to the paint you can kind of see where the paint I mean the jelly what petroleum jelly was because that paint in that area is thicker so you just want to gently rub off the top layer Some right here I can see. Okay. 
and there's your peel paint. Oh, I see a little spot right there. You, it, it's kind of shiny under the dryer, so you don't want to do it too long. Um, but you can still see the shine that the dryer, that the heat gun couldn't get the spot dry. So that's your technique. So cute. So I'm going to show you what I did with the first one. And I used green and brown. So this is my card that I made with it. It's so cute. I love it. Um, here's Kyla. Um, so <laughs> anyway, I used regular cardstock and then I layered it with this um, homemade paper. I got a paper pack, Recollections Signature Homemade. Can you see that? Recollections Signature Handmade Paper. So I used this pretty lime green color. And then um, I put the petroleum jelly on those spots. And then I covered it up with the chocolate cover, uh, chocolate uh, acrylic paint. And then I popped these butterflies on uh, hot glue. And these butterflies actually came from dollar store everybody who has a dollar tree knows these are main street wall creations jumbo stickers for your wall so obviously i've been using them a lot so i just backed them up on um cardstock and then cut them up and then i added some lindy stamp gain uh glitz spritz for that extra shine and three flat black pearls and then on the inside, sentiment just says, remember that something incredibly wonderful is always possible. Cute. So anyway, thank you so much, Echo Green Crafts, for your quick and easy to follow tutorials. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Friday Favorites. Have an awesome day. Hey, it's bonus material. I just realized when I was trying to upload the video that I said that I was going to do a second um, um, one of their second techniques so I'll show you real quick and it's really really quick and simple um, it's just providing like um, a tie-dye or a masked kind of background with just using your dyes I don't know if you're able to see this one let me see if I cover the light I think that's I don't know maybe I'll not be able to see these anyway they're blotted they're like blotted I'll try to use a darker dye to show you guys I'm just using my color box ink and you just want to get whatever pattern piece of paper that you're going to get and you want to run your whole ink over that piece of paper just smear it on there okay <clears throat> and you want to get, get some water and just blot it splash it or smear it or you just don't want to stream I mean, not a stream, but a, a consistent spray in order for that effect to happen. So you let that sit for a brief moment. Let that simmer. And then you want to get a napkin. You don't want to rub. You want to blot. And get it all off. And when it dries, oh, I see I'm frozen here. You'll have this cool technique. See, I spray too much, but um, you get the gist. So you want to dry that up, and you'll have this cool tie-dye um, technique to use if you don't have, like, a background or you want to just something simple. Because that kind of would look cute if I put it on that um, card that I just made, too. If I use that as a background so the other items will um, be prominent on the card. So, anyway, now I'm done. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks for coming back to another Friday Favorites. Bye.